Hello, in this lecture you will learn how to send through some non-text data. So this could be a list, this could be a dictionary, this could be a class, this could be anything you want to send. So we will learn how to serialize those elements and how to then deserialize them. So let's start with the server side and we will actually be using the same applications that we have built in the previous lectures for the UDP. So we are going to be using UDP although you can do the same exact thing with TCP. So we have some data we have some data in in here that we receive so that's the text data that we want to display and this time we will do something a little different we will use something called binary formatter but to use binary formatter you need some kind of an object so the object that we are going to use will be a list a list of strings and here we have a string data that we write to the console so let's just delete the getting of the bytes into string let's just delete that and then we will declare a new list let's do list we don't see that yet let's see if we can find the namespace using system.collections.generic we have a list and let's do string as the type of elements in the list as it says there and let's call it simply lst equals new list string so now that we have that let's add something actually we won't be adding here anything we will just uh, try to deserialize what we receive and we will add to the list we will establish a list in the client side in the client side and we are currently in the server side so let's try to deserialize and we need something called binary formatter so let's write variable let's say binary or let's say bin formatter bin formatter equals new binary formatter let's see if we can find that namespace for this one and we can it is a very long one system.runtime.serialization.formatters.binary so basically what this will do it will take that stream and it will serialize the byte array into that specific object that you need to have so what object you send that object you will receive it can't be something different so now we need to we need to do list lst we could actually change a few things here instead of declaring it like that we would just copy that put it right here and do equals and then we would do bin formatter deserialize like that and we will need to put in the stream the stream will be will be done from both bytes so we have that and now let's do as as list as a list of strings so that's it you enter the type and now let's try to create that stream so let's do memory stream variable let's say m stream um, stream like that equals new memory memory stream so now let's see if we can put in the bytes in here we need the name say system io yes it's system io so we have that memory stream now and we will put it in here let's do m stream and now in the data let's do lst lst element we should have or at maybe element at we we should be using here see if we can find that it should be link yes it's link 
So let's just do zero. Let's do zero here. And we will actually put in the breakpoint here. We will see if we get all the things that we need to get in the actual uh, list here. So let's just review all that. We have binary formatter and then we have the stream. So binary formatter we call the method deserialize and we pass on the stream and then it deserializes that stream and then you deserialize it as list of strings so at the same time that you will send. And so now let's go to the client side. Let's go to the client side and let's actually establish that. So let's do list. List, we don't see the namespace yet. We need the namespace, it will be easier. Using system.collections.generic, we have a namespace. So let's do string, bring, and let's call it str equals new list of strings. And then let's add a couple or maybe three strings. Let's do add and let's do tst1. And let's copy that, paste that, and change some numbers so that we see that these are actually different different results. So we have that and we need to again declare a binary formatter. So let's do again bin formatter equals new binary formatter. Let's see if we can find the namespace again, that long one. And yes we can, I made a typo somewhere. But it should fix that, it did. So now let's move on, let's move on and now we need to serialize everything. So we kind of need to again use a stream and then we'll basically push everything to that stream. So let's do just that. Let's create another stream. Let's go again um, stream equals new memory stream. We need those namespaces system.io. We have that. And so now we will go to binary formatter, bin formatter. And then let's do let's do serialize this time. We need serialize. As you can see we have serialize and it doesn't return anything. It simply puts everything into that provided stream. So the stream, our stream is um, stream and then the object. What is an object? The object is simply the object that you are serializing into byte array. So that is str, str and we have it. Now we are sending that old text, we will delete that and what you simply do here, you simply do um, stream and then you need to get bytes, byte array from that stream. So to do that from memory stream, this only works from memory stream, you do to array, to array and you get that array. It's all very simple and very easy to achieve. So now it seems that everything is done or at least it should be done so let's launch the console server and then we will launch the client side we will see what happens and if it actually works or not so i have now launched that and let's see if let's see if we can launch the client side now Wait for that fully to launch. It has launched. And then let's do debug, start new instance. Let's see what happens if something happens. No, or maybe yes. It doesn't seem that anything had happened here. So let's just. Let's see if we had exited or if we had an error. So let's just do console here, console read, read line, read key actually. We need read key. Let's see if it just shut down for no reason or if there was a reason. 
somewhere. We actually have an exception here, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So let's try to launch that again. It should work perfectly now. Let's wait for it to wait. It's waiting. Let's launch the client side. Let's see what happens. Debug, start new instance. Let's see. So we have launched that and let's see. Yes, we are receiving that as you can see. We have received a message and data received is TST1. So that would be the index zero element add zero. And with that, we will conclude this lecture.